Hi everyone, welcome to Buy Devin Nails. Welcome back to all of my subscribers. I'm so excited that you are here and I hope you enjoy. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. That helps others find this channel and it brings a smile to my face. All right, let's get started. So today we are doing the next part of our crochet along. We're going to do this beautiful shell pattern here. It looks more complicated than it is. And if you can count to seven, you can get this done. So I'm so excited to share this all with you. And if you would like to have a PDF of this pattern, remember to subscribe and then you can DM me at hooks and nails on Instagram and I can send you over the entire PDF. You can save it in your files so that you can make a ton of the mermaid, uh, mermaid scale nail sleeve. All right, y'all let's get to it. So at this point you should have your long ribbon of back loop only. And you should have a multiple of seven plus one more row. So as a reminder, if you watched the last video, I am using this yellow yarn, which is a thicker yarn than the number three sports weight yarn. Um, I am using the same size hook, a number three here, but I did not get as many rows because the yarn is thicker. So I have 35 plus one more is 36. And that comfortably goes around my wrist. All right, so the next step that we're going to do is we are going to connect our little ribbon here together so that we have a cuff that is circular. We're gonna do the rest of the pattern with it and this circular. So you're gonna do a slip stitch. So you can kind of um, look at your design and fold it in half and tuck this little tail over to the side. Just fold it in half, make sure your yarn isn't caught in between it. And then I like to put the yarn um, that I just finished with, so the loop facing me, but you can do it either way. Um, close up your tension and you're just going to go through I'm going to go through the stitches here. And then bring your yarn around. So it's just going to catch over the top just a little. You're going to pull it through. And then I kind of put mine over. Basically, you want to just do a little slip stitch here. And then from there, you can keep going. So go through one stitch on this side and then go around and in. And now you've got two loops on your hook. You're gonna pull one loop, the newest loop that you made, through your loop here. So in, then you're gonna take this, your hook, go back through, pull through. Now you've got two, you've got the newest loop. You're gonna pull that through the old loop then press through, grab your yarn, pull it through, got two loops again, pull it through, and in, and through, and in, and through, and in, and through. You're just gonna go through the whole length. So it's gonna be somewhere between nine and 10 stitches. Um, basically you're doing one of these little slip stitches per stitch, which we had 10 chains and then we brought that to nine. So you're gonna have somewhere between nine and 10. If you get an extra, it's really not a big deal. Um, you're just closing this up. You want it to be closed all the way across. So when you get to the end, um, you don't want it to be kind of butterflying out like this. So you do probably want to put just one more in the top. Pull it through. And all right, so now that you've got to the end, it should be pretty secure. And because it's the back loop only stitch, it should look just like a slightly thicker, maybe just a tiny bit higher 
of that back loop. If you want, you can flip it to the inside. At the end, you can decide which side is the right side and which is the wrong side. I think they look pretty similar. And there are small differences if you are really looking for it. So now that you've got this, you're gonna do one more slip stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, pull that through, and now you've got a loop here. Now from here, we are gonna create the loops that we are gonna crochet along. So because this is an edge, it's not really the crocheting um, loops that we had before, like when we were doing the back loop only, so we're gonna create those. So you're gonna go along this edge, so now we're on this longest edge, and we're just doing a single crochet. So you're gonna kind of, you have to kind of just guesstimate about where they go. As long as they're about evenly spaced along this long edge, you're gonna be fine. So I had 35 plus one, you likely have somewhere closer to 50, depending on your tension and your weight of yarn. So that's how many crochets that you want to do. It's about one for each row. So one in this little valley and then one in the mountain, etc. So you're gonna go in with your hook. You kind of just wanna catch the top. You don't wanna go too far down um, that'll just make it look a little awkward, but if you wanted to catch like here, that's really not a problem. So just about the top, you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then just do your regular single crochet. So that's one, and then one into the mountain, and that's going to be a little bit more yarn than that last one. So you're going to yarn over, pull through, okay? And now we're going into the valley again. So we've got this yarn here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, just a single crochet stitch. You wanna go through and do your number, so your multiple of seven, plus one more as evenly spaced as you can. You do not at all need to get out a ruler. Um, the one nice thing, well not the one nice thing, there's many nice things about the back loop only stitch, but it creates for you this pattern that's very easy to see the rows. So as long as you're doing one about for each row, you're gonna be doing really well. Now, if you got to the end of your back loop only and realized that you had one too many or one too few rows, this is a really easy chance to fix that. So if you did a multiple of seven and you forgot to add one more, just add it now. It really is okay. It won't make a huge difference at the end. And when I say add it now, that means just with these loops here, you're just gonna add one more. Okay, so you're gonna go through, you're putting in, I'm putting in 35 plus one more. So we've got 36. Just make sure that your number is a multiple of seven plus one more. That is gonna mean that you're gonna have the perfect number to do our little mermaid scale pattern. So as you're going, you just wanna keep these evenly spaced. It's just a single crochet all the way down. So I think I'm at, yep, I'm at about the halfway point. I'm gonna do a little bit of movie magic here and meet you on at the next step when I've gone all the way around. Now you're gonna have a completed single crochet row all the way along your continuous circle. You wanna make sure before you move on from this point that you have maintained that multiple of seven plus one. I have 36, so I've got our multiple plus one. So with your hook inside the loop of that last crochet, you're gonna take it, you're gonna go through that first crochet you're gonna create a slip stitch. So just yarn over, pull through, and then pull through your loop. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. So this part was on top, looking at me as the crocheter. I've now turned it, so it is now on the bottom. From here, we're gonna start working our first row of a two row repeated pattern. So there's two rows that are gonna repeat 
one after the other until you've reached your desired how long you want your sleeves to be. So we're going to be doing a double crochet and chain stitches. The chain stitches are just the same as the chain stitches that we did when we started out our little cuff at the very beginning of this crochet along. So to start your double crochet, you're going to yarn over. You're then going to put your hook through the first single crochet, yarn over. Now you have three loops. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through the first two, one, two. Yarn over, pull it through the next two, three and four. You've got just one loop left on your hook and you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. From here, we're going to do a second double crochet and we're going to put it into the exact same stitch that we put the first. So yarn over for the beginning of our double crochet, insert your hook yarn over then you've got three on your hook you're going to yarn over one more time one and two yarn over three and four now you've got our first basic part of our shell we'll zoom in here just a little bit so you can see this better there we go okay so you've got the double crochet, your chain three space, and then a second double crochet and they are both going into that same stitch. From here, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We are then going to skip six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, grab that seventh stitch or mark it if you have a stitch marker and take your hook, start your double crochet by yarning over, insert your hook into that seventh stitch, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over and through your first two, yarn over, three and four. So now we've got two a cro double crochet chain three, double crochet, chain four, double crochet. We're gonna chain three again, one, two, and three. Double crochet right into that same stitch, pull through, one, two, three, four, and we're back to that chain four. One, two, three, four, skip six. One, two, three, four, five, six, going to yarn over for the beginning of our double crochet, put it into that seventh stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, one, two, three, and four, and you should know the pattern by now, we're chaining three again, one, two, and three, another double crochet into that same stitch, one, two, three, four, and we're chaining four. One, two, three, and four. And again, we're gonna skip six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going into this one here with our double crochet. Pull through, double crochet, chain three, one, two and three, a second double crochet into the same stitch, one, two, three and four, and we are chaining four, one, two, three and four, and skipping six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, start your double crochet, insert your hook into the seventh stitch, yarn over and pull through. All right, you all continue on with this pattern of double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the same space, chain four, and I will meet you at the end when you get to here. Then you are going to do your chain four, one, 
two, th three, and four. And you are going to find that first double crochet. So you've got this little stitch here that is connecting the double crochet and you are going to put your yarn under and you're going to slip stitch these together. So you yarn over after the yarn is through, pull it through, you're not gonna make another stitch and then just pull it through. And then from here, first thing that we have here is a chain three space. Oops. See a chain three space between our two double crochets. So in our chain three space, we're gonna do seven double crochets. So yarn over, put your yarn into the space. So not into a stitch, just into the space. Pull through and just the same double crochet. One, two, yarn over, three and four. And then a second one, so yarn over into that same space. And this is one, two, yarn over, three, four. So that's two double crochets. We're going to do four or five more because so we need seven total. So this is number three. Four. Five, oops, five. You don't want to be too tight or you'll have time hard time getting your crochet through. Six. And the last one is number seven. So while you don't want it to be super tight, you do want them to be kind of even, so find it something that's comfortable and what you should begin to see is this little shell forming and what's going to pull it all the way over is a single crochet in the four chain space so just put your crochet hook under the chain pull through so it's just a single crochet yarn over and pull it through both and now you've got this pretty little shell and we're going to do it again so yarn over Put your yarn, your hook into that chain three space. We're going to do seven double crochets. So that was one, two, three. four, five, six. It will feel like it's getting a little tight into that chain four, chain three space, but that's okay. You want it to be, because remember when you pull it over, it's gonna kind of fan out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one more. And then you've got your seven. You're gonna do a single crochet in the chain four space. So just put your hook through, pull through, and go through both loops. And now you start again. So you're just gonna continue with that same pattern. Seven double crochets in the chain three space, a single crochet in the chain four space. So now I'm doing my seventh double crochet in my three chain space. It is my last double crochet of this shell and my last shell of this row. And I'm going to do another slip stitch, chain and turn. So this is where we started. So we're just gonna find kind of that first stitch Pull it through as a slip stitch. Going to chain one and turn our work. 
Now we're going to go back to that pattern of the double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the same space, and then chain four. And we're going to proceed around this row to do that. So we're going to put that first double crochet. So we're going to do chain, we chained one. We're going to chain one more. So we chained one, we turn, we chained a second one because this is our first one on this row. This is kind of how we're going to keep them connected. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. We're going to do a double crochet in that fourth single, that fourth chain, fourth crochet. So we've got our three, double crochet, and now I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. Going to double crochet into that same space. One, and two, and three. Okay, so we've got double crochet, chain three, double crochet, and now you're going to chain four. One, oops, one, two, three, and four. Okay, again, we're going to do that stitch above the top. So kind of find that first double crochet, count one, two, three, it's that fourth one. So you're gonna yarn over to start your double crochet. So get into that top one of the shell. You've got three, yarn over, one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna chain three, one, two and three yarn over back into the same stitch and we've got the finishing up of this double crochet before we chain four again two three and oh, my tension's a little tight there you can tell because it is difficult for me to move my there we go all right so again I'm going to find that top crochet shell, of, the top crochet of our shell. If it's helpful to count, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is after seven, so we skip seven this time, going into that eighth one at the top of the shell. So that double crochet again. And now we're ready to chain three, one, two, and three, double crochet into the same space. And crow, chain four. One, two, three, and four. And now we are skipping seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight is on the top. Pull through. All right, y'all. I will again meet you at the end where we're going to connect. You now know the basic repeated two part pattern that's going to make most of your nail feet sleeves. All right, we're on to our last part here where we're going to do our chain four. We got one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to slip stitch this. So you're gonna go here right before that first double crochet slip stitch it together to finish your row do a chain and again turn your work we're going to continue to repeat this pattern so we've got our chain four space so we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into that space and now we're ready to do our double crochets into our first chain three space on this next row so we're going to continue through with this double um, row pattern. So A, B, A, B, A, B. 
you're going to continue to make this double pattern a b a b ending on a b row for the length that you want your crochet sleeve to be so if you want it to be longer so it goes up your arm farther then you should create more of this double pattern row so that it can fit you better if you have a shorter arm or you don't want it to go down as far on your arm you're going to have less of the a b patterns repeating one after the other so as i said in some of the other videos that's why i love this pattern so much because it is so easily customizable for the length that you want do you want this to go all the way up do you want it to go all the way down the number that you want so for for mine with the sports weight three i ended up with one two three four five five of those double rows so ten more rows and then um i added this beautiful um kind of finishing scallop stitch to the top all right, once you get to the number of shells that you want going up, then you're going to do the final stitch. So I just have two of our repeated rows. Um, this one is a little bit shorter than some of the other ones, but because it's that thicker yarn, it is a lot, each shell is a lot longer. So you can see in comparison, this is our three sports weight. So it is a a big difference between the size of the shells and the rest. Um, if this wasn't just an example piece, I probably would add another, if not two more. Just for my preference, I like when it goes all the way up to kind of between my fingertips and the middle of my finger. And then when you're wearing it, you can choose to put your thumb in one of these holes that's already created. Another great um, part of this pattern. So. Once you get to the final double crochet of your last shell, it will look like this. So you've got your loop, you've just done that last double crochet. Then you're just going to find that kind of first um, stitch that you do when you connect them together, pull through, do that slip stitch turn your work or you don't even have to really turn it you can just do a chain then you can turn it and then what we're going to do is create a scalloped edge so you're going to do the same pattern for all seven of the stitches in each shell so in so we've got one two three four five six and seven so in the first stitch of the shell, you're going to do a single crochet. In the second stitch of the shell, you're going to do a half double. So you're going to start it just like a double. So you're going to um, yarn over. You're going to stick your crochet hook in. Yarn over. Now you've got three. You're going to yarn over. And here's where it differs from the double. So for a half double, you're going to put this yarn over loop through all three, one, two, and three. And now you just have one loop and you're gonna start on the next one. So for this one, you're gonna do a full double. So yarn over through that next loop, yarn over, pull through, and now we're gonna just do the same, one, two, and then a yarn over to get those three and four. And then on the top, so that fourth in the seven, you're gonna do a triple. So you're gonna yarn over twice, one, two, so you've got three, on three loops on your hook you're going to go into that crochet stitch yarn over again pull through so now you've got one two three and four you're going to yarn over go one two yarn over three four yarn over five and six and then you're going to go in the reverse order so we're going to do a double crochet in our next stitch one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do a half double. So we start just like a double, pull through. Now go through all three at the same, one, two, and three. And then just a single crochet at the bottom. 
So if it is kind of bunching up a little on you, kind of rolling in, you might increase um, your kind of actually decrease your tension so it's a little bit more loose. And also you can just kind of stretch them out a little bit to get them to the perfect space. All right, then you're gonna have this stitch here before the shell begins, just gonna do a slip stitch there. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we're gonna do our single crochet, our half double, oops, I went in the wrong space. There we go, our half double, then a regular double, and at the top, yarn over, yarn over for a triple crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and six, then a double, half double, a single crochet in this last one, and then between the two shells you've just got a slip stitch. You can kind of stretch these out a little bit to get them just right. What you're going to end with, because you're doing all of those different stitches, is each of those stitches has a different height. So you're going to preserve and kind of accentuate that scalloped edge, um, but now it's all finished. So once you've gone all the way around with this finishing stitch, you are then just going to slip stitch it to make sure you don't have, you have the two pieces connected and then you can knot your work and cut and you have your finished sleeve. The only thing that you'll want to do is you can take um, a tapestry needle and you can, um, you can put these um, tails that you'll have or you can even use your crochet hook and just kind of pull them through your work and then once you've got them through, you can cut them off after they've been kind of weaved in. And then you're gonna have your finished crochet sleeve and you can make as many of these as you want. I love how they look different depending on if you used a yarn with different colors in it, if you used a solid yarn, and I'm hoping to be bringing more of these crochet alongs to at by Devin Nails on YouTube and some crochet props um, to go along with the different seasons that are happening. I am so excited that you followed along until the end. Remember, you can reach out to me at any time if you're having any trouble. You can put it in the comments here or you can DM me at Hooks and Nails on Instagram. Thank you again, you all, for being here with me. I am so excited to share my love of crochet with all of my nail friends. I hope that if you enjoyed this, that you will subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. It also helps YouTube to spread the word about my channel and the different things that we're doing here. All right, you all, this was by Devin. Bye, y'all.